Welcome, welcome, welcome to the early, super early Jujutsu Kaisen Chapter 247 leaks. I know that I said that the series was on break next week, or I think I actually didn't say this. I think I said that there was going to be a chapter this week. However, who cares? The leaks came out earlier, a week earlier than they're supposed to. We got them today. So, you know, we have to give thanks to Miyamura per usual. And now let's hop into this crazy chapter, by the way. So the chapter begins with Sukuna assessing Higuruma. More than the sword, what caught Sukuna's eyes is the suspension and the assumptions of the effects of Higuruma's curse technique. Basically, the fact that Higuruma's pulling out domain amplification, then switching to his curse technique, and he's got so much control over his curse energy that Sukuna is amazed. And of course, Gojo and other characters can do things like this, but Higuruma learned this in the span of two months. These other characters have at least, you know, years or more than two months to do things such as this, so obviously, Higuruma stands out to Sukuna. He's very interested. And thus, Sukuna gives Higuruma his flowers. He even acknowledges him, saying, you are Higuruma Hiromi, right? And Sukuna remembering someone's name is a big deal, hence is why he's saying his name here. But Yuji catches up to the both of them. Like I said in my review, he was going to be right there behind them. In the building they were in, instantly gets destroyed by Sukuna. And Sukuna apparently threw slashes at Higuruma, but these slashes almost reach him. And my god, the panels are beautiful. I will link the chapter in the comments down below. You guys know the strike situation. I don't want to get put in that again. So Yuji tries to punch Sukuna, but Sukuna grabs Yuji and sends mad slashes on his chest. And then he once again is like, you're so boring. I'll never be interested in fighting you. Just go somewhere and die. You know how Sukuna and Yuji's dynamic is. Sukuna casually dodges Higuruma's sword and while bobbing and weaving, throws a bunch of punches in Higuruma's face. And then, Sukuna begins to chant once more, sending a powerful dismantle on Higuruma, and then telling Higuruma to now heal himself. As we see Higuruma, his right arm has been cut off by Sukuna, and Sukuna once again tells him to heal himself up. As you can see, Sukuna is clearly dominating the fight as we all expected, but I want to say that as one-sided as this seems, Higuruma still has a chance. He literally just has to touch Sukuna once. And I think that our heroes can make this happen as possible. And I say that because Gege is obviously making Sukuna just dominate these guys because again, all they need to do is touch him once and the battle's over. However, Higuruma can just die here. Sukuna cuts off Higuruma's remaining arm and Sukuna then asks Higuruma if this is all he has. So Sukuna's like, Higuruma, I'm gonna cut your head off next, so you better learn how to use RCT here. And after saying that Higuruma, like, will die if he doesn't use RCT, with, you know, healing, Sukuna goes, come on, come on, which is Ganbare, I think. <laughs> so yeah, he's trying to make Higuruma grow even more, it's interesting. So he's really trying to, like, make Higuruma grow into a capable source or a capable enemy. Sukuna is so, like, such a fascinating character and... He's so fascinating. Let's just let's just get back into the chapter. As Higuruma tells himself that he should die after fulfilling his role, essentially meaning that like he can't die without stabbing Sukuna. Sukuna gets attacked by Choso's piercing blood. And as Sukuna was analyzing that technique, which belongs to the big brother of the death paintings, Higuruma manages to learn reverse curse technique in that instant and regenerate his right arm to attack Sukuna. So yeah, there we go. Higuruma learned reverse curse technique. What can't this man do? But not just that, Higuruma's executioner sword pierces Sukuna's arm. But Sukuna had already cut off his wrist before Higuruma pierced it with his sword. And Sukuna then says, you're okay at best. We then see Higuruma wincing in pain as Sukuna's slashes begin to appear on his face. And just as Higuruma gets completely slashed, he throws his sword, which Yuji grabs a hold of before arriving behind Sukuna, and he set them up. Yuji watches as Higuruma falls, and he remembers Nanami's final words, the curse that was bestowed on him, saying, I will leave the rest to you. And here we see the curses coming back again. I swear the King of Curses, like this whole title, it's definitely a play on Yuji, like Yuji is the real King of Curses with all the curses that have been left on him. I swear that would be the big twist. And as Yuji has caught Higuruma's executioner's blade, he proceeds to stab Sukuna as he tells himself that his role is that he is a jujutsu sorcerer. So 
yep, Yuji being, you know, the, the guy that everybody entrusts everything onto is the running theme. <sighs> I love it. And I say this because I know a lot of people are going to complain about how these fights go. Look, Yuji is a culmination of everybody's efforts. Yuji could have not even gotten this far without a single person in this series not doing their part. Think about that, man. Everybody really matters in this series one way or another, and I love it. And I know other people are going to complain about Sukuna somehow finding a way to cut off his arm right before Higuruma stabbed him. Bro, hear me out. Sukuna is no idiot. Being a Jujutsu Sorcerer is about being a con artist, since Sukuna has had hundreds of battles. He has fought army single-handedly. He even kind of, I'll be straight up, he tricked Gojo their entire fight. He used the dismantle at the beginning of the fight and never used it again until he could catch Gojo off guard with it and kill him. Sukuna is a, he's a con artist. He, he knows how to do tricks on the spot. He's very witty and that's one of the most important assets to being a sorcerer. And Sukuna is revered as the greatest and most powerful sorcerer in history. Expect things like this out of him. Something else I want to say is that I do think Higuruma is dead and gone. You know, it's just, I think this was a really good send off to his character. We've had a lot of build up to it. However, if he's not, that'd be great too. I mean, he could regenerate. He, it is Higuruma we're talking about. This dude gonna learn the reverse, reverse curse technique and somehow make like the world turn fake in his domain like real life. I, I don't know this guy, man. He just he just be pulling things out of his ass. If anything, y'all should be complaining about him, not Sukuna. Choso, my guy's back. People thought he was dead. Come on now, Choso. I don't think Choso's really gonna die from something like that. He is half curse. You know, it's gonna take a lot to kill him. We see how Kenjaku has whooped Choso's ass every time they fought, okay? Him getting impaled is nothing at this point. He's like invincible. Mark Grayson. Lastly, if this happens, right? If Sukuna gets stabbed by the Executioner's Blade, I know they said that this will free Megami, but is this really, is this gonna kill Sukuna then free Megami? How exactly is it gonna work? Is it going to kill the body that contains both of them and then separate them i want to know how this is going to go maybe megami gets freed because of what i just said right like the body gets killed but the souls are separated and thus and, and you know how mahito's logic explained the body and the soul in this universe maybe we'll get confirmation to kenjaku and mahito's theory as to what the body and the soul's connection truly is if the body of that contains both of their souls is killed and removed and thus it splits them into two different souls they should, in theory, have two different bodies. I don't really know if it's going to go like that. Maybe I'm just yapping. But, <laughs> you know, real review, real analysis coming out for the chapter next week. Thank you so much for watching, guys, for the quick spoilers. With that being said, this is going to take a lot to digest for me and probably you guys too. So peace out, and I will see you guys next week.